Hello and welcome guys to the Yule Loggers. It is Josh here and happy Halloween. Um, yes, so uh, today we're looking at a mod. This is a Halloween mod. As you can see, I've just set up a little, um, set up a little set for us. Didn't take long. Uh, but today's mod is called the Creepy, it's called Creepy Pasta Craft. And it's by uh, U2, but it's been adopted by that um that letters and stuff and letters and sevens. So yeah, this is this is a pretty cool mod. It it's not got a lot in it, but what is in it is quite fun. So I guess let's move straight into into uh, into what it's got to offer. It's just a witch, as you do. So first thing, um, right here, uh, one of the things that you get here, so you can see here, you get a laptop. So this is the laptop right here. Now, this is quite a simple interface. Uh, put something in, clocks over, get something out. It's kind of like a furnace. Um, so, hello, um, nothing in there. Uh, so we got some paper. So we need some paper. Put the paper in the printer inside the laptop. So this laptop is a very special laptop because it can print things. And this paper will become uh, an archive, which you can use to spawn in mobs and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tell you how to craft this laptop so it's a couple of recipes not not many just a few so this is the laptop here it's very simple uh crafting recipe you've got six iron three across the top three across the bottom diamond in the center and two redstone either side of the diamond and that will get you a laptop now another recipe you can pick up pasta as you do um, and you can make pasta by having a wooden bowl and wheat. So that's kind of a that's kind of a good um, a good combination because you can. That's a quick, easy meal which you can make out on the go. And one of my favourite recipes, which is absolutely, I find it great, is you can you can make a diaper. You can make a diaper. Uh, you craft a diaper with five paper in the shape of a boat or uh, uh, an upside down helmet. Um, I don't... Mm, yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty much the way I can describe it. Now, with the diaper, you can put it on your character like so. And it makes a pretty cool looking looking thing it's kind of a bit weird really but you can see you can see your butt you can see your front whatever you've got <laughs> and uh, yeah I'm gonna keep that on because it's pretty cool but yeah so that's the recipes and yeah so I will come back and tell you how many hearts or things that the pasta feeds in a second but um let's move on to some of the cool things that are in this mod which has been added so i'm going to start with the disc because i'm not going to use the disc because it's probably got a copyright nintendo um uh, claim on it but uh it's lavender town from pokemon which I only found out about five minutes ago when speaking to Jamie, because I don't know if you know, but I've never played Pokemon, and I didn't know anything about creepypastas or anything, and uh, Jamie's just explained it all to me, so there you go. Um, but yeah, so you've got Lavender Town, you've got Pasta, which we've just looked at, and we've got the Diaper, which we have just looked at. Um, but yeah, I suppose we can uh, look at some of the um, mobs which have been added to the uh, 
to the um to the game through this mod. So this is the one that we created earlier, uh, and uh, we're not going to use that. We're going to uh, gather these, and we're going to put away that sword, which we'll come back to in a second. But let's just pick these up. Um, so what have we got first? So this is Jane the Killer. Then this person is a um, she's a peaceful peaceful um, NPC. And she will defend you against her nemesis and your nemesis, Jeff the Killer. And let's see what let's see what happens when we put them down together. So they both fight it out, and she kills Jeff the Killer. And when she kills Jeff the Killer, she Jeff drops Jeff's knife. So that's pretty cool. Uh, she does leave her on quite low health, but uh, I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to put you out of your misery. There you go, she drops a flower, like a golem. But yeah, so let's move on to the next. Okay, um, so yeah, oh, and by the way, uh, Jack, uh, Jack, Jeff the Killer, uh, when he, he will hit you, and if he does hit you, he will deal, um, I think it's about 8 hearts of damage. But don't, don't, uh, don't, don't, uh, don't, just, yeah, you get what I mean. Don't, don't, uh, take my advice on that. I think he deals 8 damage. In fact, I'm going to check if, if he deals 8 damage in a second. But also added in this mod is a whole lot of achievements. So, uh, you can get an achievement here called Not For Kids, which is just craft a laptop. Um. You can make some creepy pasta, uh, and that's just how you do it. Um, you craft a diaper, which will get you this anti-pooping pants device. Um, uh, you can get ride the str the strader, which is better than a monster truck. We'll come to him in a bit. Um, don't go to sleep. Acquires Jeff's knife, so that's get um, what's her face to kill him. Um, I can't even remember. I my speech today is just really slurred and just, oh, d yeah. Uh, don't do it, bro. Uh, ruin your childhood. See Squidward die. We'll come to Squidward in a second. And yes, that is Squidward from SpongeBob. So let's move on to the next mob. What's it called? Um, um, which one is it? I think it's the Strider. No, that's okay. We'll we'll talk about the Strider. Now, this is just a harmful, a harmful, a harmless creature which you can ride, and it also allows you to um, fight on the top of it. So you can you can uh, use it, and it's kind of like a horse, but you just don't di um, can't dictate where it goes, which is annoying. But you go there. You go. You just just a uh, normal mob. You can hit and dies really quickly. Got eight, got twenty hearts of damage, which is, which is cool. Um, but yeah, it's not much to that mob, um, apart from, uh, yeah, apart from hit him. Now, let's move on to the next thing, which I will have to check the name for. Um. Um, I think it's called the rake. Yeah, the rake. Now, this is kind of a, a weird creature. Let's go over here for this. Um, look at this. This is kind of a bit, a bit odd. Let's make it night again. Why not? Um, and yeah, so this is, this is called the rake. It's kind of an ugly looking thing, but... It certainly does some damage. Let's grab us a uh, villager. But I don't know if you saw that, but he moves so quickly. So if you see that, wow, real quick. Um, so if you're in survival mode, um, he will, if, you, if he sees you, he will bounce at you and you will die. There's no doubt about it. You can't run away from this thing. It's super, super quick. Um, it's described as... The speed of lightning. So let's let's do this again. See that? See that there? It's, it's just unbelievably quick. 
and it takes two um, hearts of damage, uh, which is which is okay if you're using it as an offensive thing, but as a defensive thing, not at all. And uh, to keep it for you, keep it around, uh, it it's just not good. So when you kill this, you get raw pork chops, which is kind of cool, but yeah. So let's move on to well let's let's move on to Squidward. Why not? He's kind of cool. So Squidward here, there you go, there's Squidward. Uh <laughs> there's no clarinet. Just 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 saying there's no clarinet. But he's got twenty hearts of damage. But the thing is when you when you see Squidward, you right click Squidward, he, he goes a little bit mad. Let's see that. He goes mad and he and he kills himself. But that's that's the way Squidward works, and that if that's what Squidward wants to do, then sure. But yeah, so let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so the next one is called the Smile Dog. Now you've probably heard about the Smile Dog, but it's just a normal dog. And uh, if you look at it in the eyes, it will turn into a monster and hunt you down and kill you. Now, I'm going to kill him first, um, I'm not sure if he drops anything, no, I don't think so, but um, let's see what, what happens if we put down a villager, I'm not sure anything does happen, I'm not sure he actually does turn into a monster either, but uh, I haven't seen it, so I'm not, I'm not sure this has uh, worked, but there you go. That's the way. That's the way it works. So I think there's been a few changes since the original mod, which is what I've been looking at for the information. But the next, the next mob is quite, quite, quite a mob, if I could call it that. It's called Mothman, and uh, I'm going to spawn him in here because he's a flying, he's a flying machine. So this is Mothman. Um, he is. Uh, Stuck in the in in the roof. Let me spawn him out here as well, so you can see this. He's, he's a flyer. He flies around in a in a pretty ridiculous way, um, flapping his humongous wings. And apparently, uh, when you kill this guy, he drops a knife. But I haven't actually seen the knife uh, drop, so I'm not I'm not saying a knife is actually dropping but apparently there's one that drops even though i haven't seen it so that's a pretty cool creature and it's a very very rare you it's very rare to see it out in the wild but um it's kind of cool it looks it looks a bit derpy uh but there you go um so let's move on to the next one now eyeless jack eyeless jack is this specimen here he's got no eyes as you can probably guess from his uh name but he has got 40 hearts well 40 which means 20 hearts of damage because he's because every heart is well every damage up in the corner there is half a heart so he's got 20 hearts of damage much like a normal ploy player on minecraft but this guy here he will creep up on you when you're when you sleep so if you go to sleep, he's the guy who will just spawn out of nowhere, and he's very slow, but he will follow you and deal damage to you and attack you and punch you. Um, he is uh, he's very rare. He spawns in forest biomes and things. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure he drops anything in particular. Just a couple of bits of uh, XP. But, yeah, he's not the sort of thing you want to wake up to on... Uh, a Friday night or Saturday morning after you've been out partying or Sunday morning as it happens or whenever you go out partying but yes that's that's that so let's finally move on to the seed eater okay so the seed eater is a kind of a creepy creepy thing which has a very creepy characteristic so look at this guy look at this guy right here he's kind of kind of a bit weird it's like a skull with a hunchback and uh, very creepy but this guy he's a very very weird he only likes eating 
Wait for it. Villager babies. That's right, villager babies. So, oh, you shut, you shut the door. What is he doing? He's very fast. So he's got twenty hearts as well. So let's let's spawn in some babies for him to eat. And he will get to work and eat these babies. Look at that, it goes eating some babies. And now they're going to break down the door. So the horrible, horrible creatures they are. But they will eat the babies. Spawn some more in. There we go. And they want to eat the babies, which is which is very weird. But this guy over here, I don't know what he's playing at. Maybe he wants to escape. But there he goes. Eating the babies. And a zombie has spawned. Which also wants to eat the villagers. Which is always a, a, a plus side, I guess. But, um, yeah, let's, so let's just reset. Let's reset all the mobs right now. And let's get rid of these. Get them out of here. So that's that's pretty much all of the mobs so far. Uh, let's go into a bit more detail of Jack uh, Jeff's knife. So it's not there's not much to it actually. It's dropped by Jeff when you kill him, or when uh, what's her name Jane kills him, and uh, it's stained with the blood of the innocents, and it's got uh, 15 attack damage plus the one from your fist. So that's a whole uh, 16. Uh, bit uh, beats worth of damage, which is um, which is good. And the next thing we're going to look at uh, is the hilt of a blacksmith. Now that is uh, this is a this is a knife which will give you slow slowness and wither too, blindness too, and wither too uh, for a continuous two seconds while you've got it equipped. And you can only pick it up uh, from blacksmiths and uh, the chests in blacksmiths. Um, but to, and you and because you've got wither and stuff, uh, it, you slowly lose health while holding this. And to keep your health up, you have to kill uh, items and objects and things and just murder them brutally, uh, and that'll gain you health. So that's that's cool. Um, but now we've got a couple of more things, which is which is pretty funny in my opinion. Uh, so we've got we've got we've got two YouTubers which you can spawn in as uh, as mobs. So let's start off with PewDiePie. You can spawn in PewDiePie, and if you listen to what he says, you will hear uh, he's got something to say. So there you go. He uh, very vocal. Um, but let's spawn in a let's spawn in the rake, and you will soon hear what Pewds has to say. Well, that as well. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so you've got different sound effects. There you go. There's another one. Um, but yeah, that's that's Pewdy, and you can right click on these guys with. Well, let's get rid of this guy. If you, I think you right click them, and and he becomes a baby. So you've got baby pewds uh, who can run around, and uh, and he's got higher voice, uh, which is there. You go. That's that's that's. I think that's enough PewDiePie's for me today. Come here, coming. Oh, <laughs> there's another sound. And you can also get Cryotic, and it's another YouTuber. Uh, you can get Baby Cryotic as well, and Cryotic. And uh, I don't know if he makes a noise. Um, I haven't heard him, but this is what he's. No, I don't think he makes a noise. He's just just got uh, whatever that thing is called, the rake, who likes to kill him. And he will drop gas tears. Now, I didn't mention this about PewDiePie, but when you kill him, uh, there's a possibility that he will drop Stevano, which, if you're a viewer of PewDiePie, I must admit I'm not myself, but uh, he 
this is something that he had in his uh, series. Um, I'm going to leave the rain because it's kind of spooky. But um, so yeah, he, he, this is something he had in his series with amnesia or something. But uh, when you throw it, it explodes, and and it's kind of cool. So it can be used as an offensive weapon. So it would take damage and. I think it causes a uh, little blast on the ground as well, sometimes, if you use it on dirt or something. But it can be used as a grenade, and it's pretty cool if you use that sort of stuff. So, oh yeah, so look here, you can uh, cook meat with it, because it sets mobs on fire occasionally. But, yeah, so I think that's pretty much about it for this mod. It's a very packed mod with not much to it but what is there is quite enjoyable and um, we will uh, definitely look at doing some more mod series in the in the future because mod series are pretty fun they're good they're good for the channel because uh, people who haven't necessarily watched our videos for the gameplay who like mods will come and watch which is always nice but, uh, yeah, I'm going to go find out how many um, shanks of pasta, how many shanks the pasta refills. But, um, yeah, that'll be, that'll be the end of the video once I've said, found that out. And um, I hope you've enjoyed. So I will see you in a second because I'm going to find out how many shanks the pasta gives you. Okay, guys, so welcome back. Um... I just like to point out that the diaper here gives you one protection of armor, but yeah, that's not what we've come back for. Um, I've come back to tell you how many hearts the or the shanks that the pasta, the pasta gives you, and I'm pretty sure after running around and uh, eating a couple of them, it gives you two and a half hearts. So let's just eat that right now because we're on two and a half shanks left. So yeah, that refills us back to full. And uh, I'm pretty sure it doesn't do any more uh, health than that. So I want to thank you for watching because it's very kind that you've watched this far into the video. And uh, to reward you with your wonderful, um, magnificent wonderfulness, I'm going to kill myself to the rake. Now this is the guy that runs extremely fast. So uh, let's see what let's see what happens. There you go, one hit. <laughs> so, oh, and another thing I'd like to mention is... Respawn me, please. Respawn me, please. Respawn me, please. Oh, there we go. My bed was missing or obstructed. So I'm going to go back into creative. Um, so another thing is, um, if you look here, Jane the Killer, uh, Leap Well. I think that's either where Jane the Killer was killed or killed uh jeff the killer but yeah that's that's cool um so it comes up with the chat message as well which is always a, a positive and a fun side to things so if you're on a server it's uh it's announced to everyone oh look my diaper got used a little bit <laughs> anyway so yeah thanks for watching i've really i really hope you've enjoyed um because this is a cool mod and uh it's nearly halloween but uh yeah so Go and pick this mod up. It's called the Creepy pa Pasta uh, Craft mod. And you can pick that up for, I think this is 1.7.2. So it's a little back. A little far back. But uh, it's a pretty, pretty good mod. Um, it's my birthday tomorrow. So maybe I'll get a video out with a possibly a birthday mod or something. That might be cool. Um, so, yeah. Let's have a look and see what we can do tomorrow. But, uh, not promising anything. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.